Welcome to Eagles Nest. I'm Brett Gendra here with Gary Athemus, voice of Golden Eagles football. You can catch all that at 89.1 The Point. All the games are live. Gary, thanks for joining us. How are you? No problem. How are you? I am great. Now, it is Brockport football season. Last, their opening weekend, Brockport faced the St. John Fisher Cardinals, one of the top teams in the nation, ranked 14th, I believe. Uh, it was a very tough game. They suffered a 55-12 to loss. You know, not really the best measuring stick for this Brockport team, especially with a lot of new players they have in, in their lineup. But what can we realistically expect out of this Brockport team this season? Uh, like you said, it was a very tough test for them, pretty much unfair. Uh, St. John Fisher expects to compete with Mount Union, who is pretty much you know, the Alabama of Division Three football, if you will. So opening under the lights, they hadn't played a game under the lights all last year. It was just a chance to see what they had talent-wise on offense and defense. So you can realistically expect a 500 record. Uh, Brockport will look to exploit some of the weaker teams in the NJAC conference. Now, entering this season, with the exception of fullback Pat Hashey, the entire backs and wide receivers on that Brockport team, uh, they are all had their first collegiate starts on first string uh, over the weekend, or over the opening weekend, I'm sorry. And I mean, when can we realistically expect these guys to start clicking, you know, especially for being a new unit? Well, this will be week three, technically, their second game, though. So you can expect them to start clicking right about now. It's, it's still going to take a little bit of time. Uh, there's going to be a feeling out process, definitely in the first half of this Western Connecticut game. But now is the time where they should really start to click together after their summer workouts and that first game in the bye week. So Joe Scabilli is just trying to build his uh, repertoire, build his reputation with these wide receivers, and they're really just trying to grow together to become a cohesive unit. Now one of those players making their first ever start, Jake Spallett, freshman wide receiver, had 10 grabs in that game, earned himself NJAC player, of the, or NJAC rookie of the week. Uh, you know, was it, was it just his week to shine, or is he a guy that we're gonna expect to see shine every game? You know, I uh, think of him as a Wes Welker of, on the New England Patriots. They, he's a guy that can line up in the slot. He's a little bit smaller. He's not going to run every, anybody over. But he can get the ball in his hands and make plays with the ball once he has it. And they ran a few end arounds to him, some bubble screens. So he's a guy they can plug in anywhere on that offense, and he will do something with it. All right, now last but not least, coming off fresh off their bye week, had a lot of time to hammer out some of the details that, you know, over the last two or after last week and a half or so, you know, what do they need to do to be successful against Western Connecticut this weekend? Well, they just got to return to old school football, just ground and pound. They have a great offensive line, four seniors and one junior, all returning starters. And Redrick Alsace, the Division One transfer from Pace University, he has a lot of talent and he's got a great offensive line to run behind. So for them, it's just get back to what you're good at and run the ball. All right, Gary Athemus, voice of Golden Eagles football. You can catch that all again at 89.1 The Point. All those games will be live on the radio station here on the Brockport campus. We're going to send it over to Ryan Gates for our sports update in a moment.